It is a hard time for your podcast right now. Oh, God. Las Culturistas. This is not a drama, by the way. uh, So your co-host, Bowen Yang. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's my best friend. Oh, is he? Yes, we've been best friends for 13 years. Fuck, I was just about to drag him. I could tell that you were going to when I told (laughs) you to watch it. Because I really do. I, I throw... thought you were just trying to be politically correct. No, I throw hands for my sister. And diplomatic. No, I'm not trying to be PC and diplomatic. I'm just trying to be uh, respectful. Can we friend. look up this article that he, they, apparently he has stepped down from the podcast? He's taking, okay, he's taking a short break from the podcast because he's really busy and exhausted and just needs a second. But he. Okay, he... but that's not what he said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, from what I hear, bad bouts of depersonalization Mm -hmm. what the fuck what does that mean mean? what language is he speaking i think he is experiencing and what he's what he's told me he's experiencing is just some intense depression and he's just really exhausted and busy and so so just say that be normal um what uh, what depersonalization means is it's like when you when you see, when you see yourself in the world but don't recognize yourself. It's like you feel like you're not registering, like you feel like you're just not um present. You're not present. Yeah, he he really just needs a break and is taking the break. I don't understand any of that. Do you? No, I, if okay, someone's like no. I'm really tired, I'm working a lot and I'm, like, I'm yeah, tired. I get it. I need a break. Get it. I get it. Just but he's taking it. He's, it he, seems it's a fancy pretentious. Word. It seems very pretentious. He wears like glasses. he's taking himself a little too serious. That's my best friend. But taking himself a little too seriously. Bad bouts of depersonalization. What if I ever said that? What would you do? You shut the fuck up. I think I say that AI he, wrote that. What's important <laughs> is that he's taking his mental health seriously, and it, I, I don't know. I. The, <clears throat> no, a, no, it's good for him that he's taking a break if he's tired. Here's the problem. I'm not. Gonna, I'm certainly not going to critique his use no. of words in describing how he feels. There's no way. When do you go back to New York? I am going to go back. Uh, oh, you know what? So this actually is a huge day because last night Taylor Swift released her Speak Now album. I the heard Taylor's that. Version. And so this is a major sort of, it's like a holiday time in Swifty world. So I'm really celebrating this morning and feeling very light <laughs> and free and fun and sort of, you know. Are you going to the concert? I'm, I've been to the concert once. Bowen and I went in New Jersey uh, about oh, a month and a half he ago. Felt, he felt good enough to go. He wasn't too <laughs> we tired. We had the best night of our life. Can you stop? Can I, can I just say something? <laughs> it's w- w- His schedule is nuts. He flies. Flies like to London to shoot a movie, mm-hmm. and then comes back and does SNL where they're like grueling, and then he does he does a lot, and so he just wanted to he's busy take a break. I uh, um, feel really sorry for him, all of his jobs and mm-hmm. the money he's making. That is not how you can measure like someone's like capacity, mental health, and mental health, and aptitude. I'm so tired. I have to do a radio it. show, then I have to film. You won't even look me. He won't happy hour. I'm just God. I'm just really feeling it. I don't think I can do the chump happy hour tonight. What, you, break. what you don't Take know is- I really need a break. I just- <laughs> We need a break. I'm hearing it, and it sounds like someone else is talking. It's depersonalized. <laughs> Listen, that- serious, if you ever feel like Jeff Lewis needs a break, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs>